What is going on Adventure Nation? We're heading deeper into the south because this morning it's 34 degrees. Yeah, it was down to 30 degrees last night, so it's starting to get chilly. And we need to get out of this stuff. Yes. This is the motorhome experiment. Weather is catching up to us. Weather is slowly <laughs> catching up to us, so we're gonna, still trying to book it a little bit further south. Now we know we're not gonna completely get out of the cold weather as we head across the southwest, but as much as we possibly can, we wanna keep it in the 70s. As you guys know, we sometimes check in when, when we get to a certain spot. We try to check in so that, you know, if we're in your area and we have the, the time that we can reach out and say hello. But this morning, uh, we woke up at Cabela's and Cabela's reached out to say hello. So we're going to go inside, say hello, maybe grab a cup of coffee and uh, I'm sure she's going to do some shopping. <laughs> Because I didn't know, a lot of the Cabela's, they actually have a deli, so you can grab some food or drinks while you're there. Yeah, so nice. a little coffee, and I think Lori saw some stuff last night that she liked, oh, so, God. as <laughs> usual. It, yeah, that's the problem with saying that. Like well, I guess I'd rather spend $20 on a t-shirt or something than going to a campground just for overnight and then go. Yeah, yeah, you're killing two birds with one stone. Yeah. That's bright. I will say, the folks there at the Westfield Cabela's, it's super nice. Mike, the guy in the deli, hooked us up. Uh, obviously, there's all kinds of food for, for everybody in there. Cabela's isn't exactly the place where a lot of vegetarians or vegans <laughs> shop, but it uh, had some great options for us. At least had an option for us. It had a veggie lover sandwich on Texas well, Toast, no, which was pretty good. Uh, if you're vegetarian, there's more than one option. They have egg and uh, cheese sandwiches. Right, right, right. And if you're vegan, you can do the veggies lovers, just no dairy. Yeah. And they will understand that. But uh, you don't have to eat food here. You can always, like, they have a lot of camping supplies. So if there is anything that you need, you can always just get yep. it here. And we did get to meet their marketing manager at this location, Kelsey, and she was super nice and gave us some more tips for what to do here in Cincinnati. So we're gonna go actually see one of those now. So, ready to roll? We wanted to pick up something at Camping World and saw that there was one close by where we are here in Cincinnati, so we decided to stop over. One of the things I have to say about Camping World is there's a lot of them that we have been to where there's no parking for RVs. Like, you, you, this, this is what you do. You cater to RVs and then there's no place to park an RV, especially if you're towing a vehicle. Now that's not all of them. We've been to several that have wide open spaces for them. El Paso's one and actually Las Vegas is another. But there's a lot of them that don't have parking. Los Angeles. I don't get it. Right here in Cincinnati. We grabbed a few items in there, Camping World, that we've been needing. Some we didn't need, of course. <laughs> like but... always. <laughs> all right, we're all done here at Camping World, and Camping World isn't really the reason we came over into this area. The real reason we came into this area is for the place we're going that's right across the street. And the young lady, Kelsey, at Cabela's told us about this place, so we thought we'd come and Check it out. It sounds pretty amazing. Well, not only Kelsey, like everybody has told us about this place yeah. on Facebook as well. So we Oh, is there people on out. Facebook have been talking about? Yeah, two, three people mentioned oh. it already. Sorry, I haven't been watching the Facebook stuff today. So I guess everybody knows about it but us. So this will be cool.
if the outside of this market, jungle gyms, is any indication of what's inside, this is gonna be pretty cool. For you NASCAR fans. They have cheese from all different countries. That's kind of cool. This place is like an amusement park grocery store. There's a lot to see and a it's lot to shop. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna keep checking it out. <laughs> You're gonna love this section. Why? This is your section right here. It's a, it's a section for kids. No sugar. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're right. I do like this section. Oh. These are all like, all these stands are, all these uh, shelves are little bumper cars. You guys remember Pez dispensers? Check this out. Like Pez dispensers of all kinds. Just rows and rows and rows of Pez dispensers. And Pez. Oh, and there's more. For you carnivores, look at that. Alligator, buffalo, elk, guinea fowl, kangaroo, ostrich, venison, wild boar. I didn't know you could eat ostrich. I guess it's a bird, so. All right, I gotta show you guys this, look at that. They even have ground camel. What the heck? Camel and bison. Holy crap, they have rattlesnake. Wow. Yeah, I would say they've got it all. Oh, Lori wants to pick up some of these here. Look, we got some. Uh, we got some worm snacks there. Got over here, we got some crickets. That would be awesome. Oh look, there's some small crickets here. I'm assuming this is for your animals, not for people. What? For people, to eat. Not for this people. Not for people. No. Live Maine lobster. Run! Swim! Swim. <laughs> Too late. I thought you didn't need a shopping cart. Lorena was looking for a new pot for her induction plate, so we're thinking I think this. that, but it will fit nicely in the I think we're gonna have a hard time storing that. Shopping adventure, but what I sense is thou art in league with scandal and strong thy cart and valuables may be in peril. I've asked Lori about four times if she needed a shopping cart. She keeps saying no, 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 so. I brought her a shopping cart. We didn't need it though. We came in here just, just to look. Just to look. But everything they have things <laughs> from every single place in the world. Like every section is uh, has signs of what part of the world they are. And you will find stuff here that you cannot find anywhere else. Yeah, pretty cool. And it's extremely cheap. Farm to table, so a lot of farmers bring their vegetables here too. The produce section is humongous too. Yeah, here, check check this out. Like, look, Indian, right? And then you come over here into the next section, and uh, oh, down there, this is Puerto Rico down there, and then over here, look at this, Macedonia, Bulgarian, Russian, Hungary, Bosnian. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've eaten anything from Bulgaria before, or Macedonia for that matter. 
Lorena sent me on a mission to find black salt. I know I think it's an Asian thing, so I'm in the Thai section, but I don't see it. Actually, I think it's Himalayan black salt, so maybe it's in the Himalaya section? Where are the Himalayas? It's not in Taiwan. I know that. I think she sent me away on purpose. The Himalayas are India, right? I'm going back over to the Indian section. All the spices. It's going to be here. Turmeric, red chili powder. Oh, black dry curry powder. It's here somewhere, I know it is. Clove, seeds, black salt. You gotta be kidding me. The king of pop. This is the US, wouldn't it be the king of soda? I wander away for just a second and I can't find Lori. So, yes I am. Natural foods, vegan and vegetarian, check this out. Then, this is their meatless stuff. Check this. Garden, beefless sliders, pork bites, chicken, uh, crispy tenders, barbecue wings, meatless meatloaf, meatless turkey. meatballs, turkey. This is just a garden. It's just this all this aisle. It's whole meatless. aisle is meatless meats and pizza and vegan stuff and craziness, lasagnas and portobello mushroom pizza and it's craziness. This is where you, you need to hit the restroom. Okay, Lori. Come on. It is very much like that. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I somehow doubt that. They have porta potties in here. Check this out. And then what's crazy is as you leave the men's room, you come out here and <laughs> that is nuts. So this is crazy. This is the original Jungle Gyms building from 1974. Just this right here. And then all of this other chaos has been added later. And it is incredible chaos. It's <laughs> awesome. I love it. Lori, we came in just to look around the store and $119 later, Say we're not gonna shop for another two months. So. Yeah, right. Place was insane. It was so cool. So cool. Jungle Gyms, you rock. Two thumbs up. If you're around the area, totally worth the stop. Totally. I don't know how to describe that place. It is like a grocery store on. Thank you. A grocery store on crack. It is crazy, but yeah. it's more than a grocery store because they had like a uh, some of uh, small appliances and like cooking stuff and alcohol and a Starbucks and uh, you can go it was have crazy. coffee at Starbucks and then go to the wine section and the beer section and they have a bar where you can have a flyer, you can have a wine tasting experience or then you can go to international foods and buy whatever it is that you need from a different uh, parts of the world 
or the health foods or just your produce, your regular grocery shopping. I mean, there's so much. It was quite the experience. And that's just that's just it. It was yeah. an experience. Oh, he's and I think this guy's gonna let me go. And that was awful nice them. But just I don't know if the guy's still alive or not, but the guy created that place back in the early 70s. Absolutely crazy. Jim Bonham. Bonamia, Bonaminio or something like that. Just so cool, just so cool. And just such a huge variety of foods for everybody. It didn't matter what kind of foods from around the world you wanted, they had it. Didn't matter whether you wanted crazy meats or crazy vegetarian stuff, they had it. Ridiculous, I would have, I would shop there. All, I would actually offer to go shopping there if we lived here. And that's a lot, coming from him. Because I hate shopping, but that was just fun. With that being said, now we're gonna go drive through rush hour traffic here in Cincinnati, which should be fun. So the next time you see me, my hair will be standing up, I'll be all frazzled and like, ah, and crying and stuff. Probably not, but I hate driving in rush hour traffic. Ready to go get some girl boots instead of boy boots? Yeah. <laughs> Lori kept telling me that she thought they were boy boots and I'm like, well, oh, no. please stop well, it. Stop your whining. They felt they felt too wide for my feet, and they were my size. But they felt too wide, and they didn't feel quite comfortable, and all that stuff. And I told Paul, I feel like they're men boots. And he's like, oh, you're crazy. He's like, that's just hiking boots, they're just that wide. It's all in your head. He always does that, and I know better, so I went online and research. And yes, they were men boots, so right now, uh, luckily, LLB has a great uh, return or exchange policy, so I'm gonna, Go to Little Bean and just exchange it for You know time. better? What, like to listen to me? Yeah. Of course you know better than to listen yeah. to me. Why would you listen to me? At this point, I already know. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Over there on the left-hand side, you can see there's a freaking monorail in front of the place. Like, that's just such an awesome start. That's just cool. They have a garden center that's closed right now, so obviously they didn't do so well with garden, but well, anyways. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. What is this, Game of Thrones? No, but what would you need? The garden center. All right, enough about Jungle Gym. Let's get on down the road. Now, after everything we've done today in Cincinnati, we're actually finally, as the sun's going down, making it to L.L. Bean, which is the reason we came here in the first place. And Lori's going to try and get some new boots, new hiking stuff. Yes. L.L. Bean. It's the last one as we head south. Kentucky. Welcome. As I sit here uploading the footage for the video today, I realized that it might have been a little bit weird uh, just kind of <laughs> shopping at a grocery store, but we had a blast there and I, I thought it was a really cool place. Not every day is a glorious day of fun and frolic, so this one happened to be in a grocery store. And this is where we're going to end this one, here in the Cracker Barrel parking lot. If this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to the channel. Of course, if this is your first time here, you probably want to watch other videos before you subscribe. But subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on all of our travels. It would be equally as cool if you like the video, and we'll see you again in another one. Take care, gang. Bye now.